Hello all Rishi here. In this episode we are going to see how to embed an image in a HTML document. But more than that we are going to see how efficiently we can do that using HTML5. But before that please make sure you have seen my previous video on how to use a basic tags in a HTML web page. I have left the link in the description or else you can click on the info card that is coming over the video. Now let's get started. Now let's start with the image tag. Image tag is used to embed an image into HTML web page. Now I have a boilerplate of the HTML web page code. Now we have to give a source for this image like where should I load the image from. For that we can mention the attribute called as src. In this src you can mention the source that you wanted to show in the HTML page. Now the source can be given in the two ways. One is using the relative path of the image or else you can give the absolute path of the image. Uh, we are going to see both of these methods. Now we will see here I have hosted my Instagram QR code image in the GitHub content. So I am copying this URL. So now this image is residing in the server. I am giving this URL as a SRC for this image tag. Now I am saving it. Going to the web page. Boom. But the problem here is the uh, height and width is not in our control, right? But we have a solution for that too. In HTML, we are having something called as attributes. Some of the tags may be having attributes, some of the tags may not have some attributes. In image, the SRC is called as attributes. So we are giving some additional arguments or parameters to a tag that is called as attributes. Similar to the SRC attribute, we are having two more attributes for the image tag. One is width and another one is height. We can explicitly mention what the dimensions of the image should be. For example, I'm giving here as 300 as width and 500 as height. Boom. Now we can control the dimensions of the image without using the help of CSS. And now there is one more attribute called as alt. Alt is for alternative text. So whenever the user is offline, the image cannot be retrieved from the server. During that time, we can give some alternative text to show instead of an image. For example, here I have given Rishi IG code. Now let's try this example first. I am saving this, but I have to go offline. So I am switching on my airplane mode. Now I am reloading the page. But you can still see the image, right? This is happening because the browser will cache the image once the web page is loaded. To solve this, we have to clear the cache from the browser. You can go to the settings, search for cache, go to the cache and check it out and click on clear. Once it is clear, you can reload the image. See, now you can see the alternative text. Now there is additional attribute called as title, which can be used to give additional information to the user. When I hover over this image, you can see a small tooltip is appearing and giving the title's text. In this way, we can give some additional description about the image to the user. Now we are going to see about relative pathing system. I have removed the source from here, so the alt text is showing up. I have downloaded the exact same image to my local called as rishi.png. Now I have to point to my local by using dot slash and I can give the file name. Now hit save, the same thing happens. But here I am giving only the dot slash as my entire path. But in the absolute path we have given the entire URL. That is a major difference. In most of the websites, all the images will be having some captions below the image. That can be achieved by using the paragraph tag. In this example I have used the image tag and a paragraph tag below the image tag. I have grouped these two tags by using the div tag. We will be seeing this development in the future videos but for now you can consider this as a parent tag that groups two or more tags together although this method will be working just fine but this is not advisable if i hit save you can see the paragraph element is coming below the image there is an another way to approach this problem that is by using the two predefined tags given by the html one is called as figure tag and another one is called as fig caption we just have to encapsulate this image tag around this figure tag and whatever the text we have given here in the paragraph tag we have to give it in the fig caption. If you compare the two results you can see the second approach is giving you some default indentation in the web page. This is why people are advising us to use this figure and fig caption 
in the HTML. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode.